In a previous video, I had the BMW 320D 2015 and now I've changed it for an Audi TT RS 2009. Did I make the right choice? Who knows? Today's video, we're going to go more in depth, get some reels, get some shots of it driving and whatnot. And yeah, hopefully you like today's video. So please like, subscribe, share. And let's get to the intro. So yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, let me see if I can get it. Yeah. It's a nice little cold start. So Alright, just finished gym. Before we get back, before we get into it, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tunnel run here. Not tunnel, but car park run with the windows down. And you can hear how juicy it sounds. So we'll do a little bit of a point of view maybe, you know, with the windows down. Um, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully the mic's not covered and stuff like that. So we'll see. Just a little pull and then talk about the car. I'll show you exteriors, show you whatever it is we need. To be, I can think of me and Wedgie. We'll think of something and then let you know really so let's get into this car let's just do a little bit of a, a little bit of a small reverse out hopefully i didn't spool i don't know which way is safest but we'll go this way because i like to do engines warm Station. Pushing 335 brake force. Um, it is mapped, so it does have. That's how it's got the pops and bangs, whatever. It's got a matte bang, something like that. I don't know. Probably stage one at this rate. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll just just get some. We'll get some runs of this while I head home, and then we'll see what we can say about this car. Really. Around. The plan is to hopefully, hopefully, so we've gone for the 3 Series to this Audi TTRS. Next is hopefully the old school uh, E46 M3. That is the plan. So you have less of a girly car, as people like to say, or hairdresser's car, into more of a manly old school type beast. But I don't think it'll sound like this. That's a slight issue because this has obviously been mapped and stuff. But each to their own, I'd rather have a convertible and a bit more space and it feels a bit more nicer really. But this will do for now. Can't do nothing. <laughs> Everyone in the streets probably think, what is that? Is that an R8? No, it's just a TT. In my opinion, the doors and stuff, they all feel a bit cheapish, but they're, they're good builds, man. People say, is it? No, it's that Mercedes that have the Renault engines or whatever. These these engines are in the Lamborghinis. There's a lady here who's obviously going to think, trying to cross the road. And you have silly people that do this while the car's going. Look, it's silly. Imagine how speeding down there. She'd be flying over the roof, going into the spoiler, and. This car is too powerful. 350 brake force, I think, is enough for the streets, guys. If you're gonna track and all that crap, then obviously do more. But it will be safe here. I was gonna. Yeah. Luckily, that wasn't for me. I didn't know what to do there. So I left it. Little bit 
bit of rev, give it that. Pops and bangs. That's what I don't get. See? So I don't understand how this car functions, but I think I figured it out. Alright, since we're in the car, for thought I'd we talk about the car, obviously. It's the Audi TT RS. So we've got the flat bottom steering wheel here, which has TT RS on it, of course. Let me show you a close up. Oh, wow, TT RS. And it's got these wing back seats, which is, you can't, it's not the normal TT RS seats. These are wing back, so they look really nice, feels really cool when you're driving. I'm like, wow, you know, when you get pushed back because of the crazy brake horse. Um, so that's really nice. And, you know, it's got manual. It's got six speed manual it's not the dsg because it's obviously a manual it's got heated seats i actually don't remember if these are heated since the wing back seats are on i don't think so but i haven't used them since the summer now we won't need it um it's also got a pioneer st uh, stereo so music bluetooth apple carplay if we've got the wire here connected with Wodgie's phone then you see his thingy and then bring it back this way so other things about this, we've obviously got dash cam and stuff like that came extra with the car. Great for insurance. Surprisingly, obviously, as you guys know, go check out my previous video where I bought the 3 Series 320D. And that insurance was about 1.5. This is just about the same, which is crazy to me. For a 2009 Audi TT RS, pushing 300 brake horse, pops and bangs, it's 124k miles, whatever. It's a great car. Lots of maintenance with it. And for this power and this sort of car, yeah, it looks a bit women hairdresser, car, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to drive around this at my age. I'm 24, so it's great. Like, I can't complain, really. I'm wondering what the M3 insurance will be like. I hope it's a similar sort of thing, but I reckon it'll be more. You reckon it'll be more? Probably a little bit more. Because yeah, it's M car, innit? But that's the idea, guys. We're going to go from the 3 Series to this, to the M3. If you want to know how much I got this car for, I bought the, what, the 3 Series for 9K. Um, I can't remember what I said in the video, maybe 89, whatever it was, bought those mods or whatever, that would accumulate to about 9, pay the guy a grand, basically got it for 10, 11, let's just say 11 and round it up, yeah? 11k car, 124k miles, is it worth it? Was it worth it? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, we'll show you some exterior and stuff, let me know what you guys think, if I got bumped, if, if it was worth it, it's in the UK, obviously London. Um, yeah, so it comes with a bit old, it's not push start, it's got this key sort of thing. Uh, what's really nice is it comes with this RS, TTRS sort of, I don't know what these are called. Yeah, I don't know what it's I don't called. know what they're called, it's like, it's like, it comes with a key ring sort of thing. It's really nice. I'll show you the exterior seats. We've got back seats, of course. Uh, if you want to fit your pet dog or a cat or a very small human being, if you put a baby in there, that baby is flying around. I promise you that. I had a prime can here. Shout out to KSI and Logan Paul. Um, if they want a red car, if they got for their right, red prime drink. No idea where it's flown around. I'm going to find it and show you because I do have it here. This is the issue of having a crazy car. Everything flies around um, and nothing stays. So let me try and find it. Another cool thing here, it's not really this to open it. It's you got, I don't know if you can see here. You actually press this, boom, the seat comes forward. And I sit really far back. So there's that screen, I guess. I can't be able to move it forward. Don't adjust my seating. And there. I'm sure that if I open this now, it will fizz and pop everywhere. So I won't do that. Um, so yeah, red drink obviously, because I've got a red car. Uh, I think what we should do now is show you the exterior. We'll go into the exterior. I think it's a great... It's like having a TT or a TTS, but no, it's a TTRS. <laughs> so, so much better. If you've got a TT, let me know. Or let me know if you've got any other comments, questions that you want to know. While I walk around the car, I'll you know, show you guys the engine and i'm knackered from gym and knackered right now to be fair just trying to find the drink well it's part of being a cool guy i guess um so let's open this can go outside i'll put the mic on hopefully uh we'll put the mic on just to sound a bit better and we'll talk a bit more about the car so yeah when you look at it from the corner like this it looks a bit bubbly bubbly but still you know all the kids are like wow so yeah today i bought a prime drink because it's red and my car's red. We've got the TTRS brakes, brake pads. Um, don't want to be too doing too much of these because maintenance on these would be crazy. 
and nice and juicy with the spoiler. Um, oh yeah, RS69 private plate. And then that's it really. There isn't much. Now that's just going to destroy the spoiler. Of course not because... Uh, okay, cool. So let's look under the bonnet now. Close that. Let's get cool. What else is there to say? Whoa. It's that 2.5. Four cylinder, five cylinder. Five cylinder. It's a five cylinder, two point five liter, three hundred thirty brake pads. Because zero to sixty, what five? Five point five, maybe. Less. Less. Yeah. Can't be. We'll just say five for now, just to be on the safe side. Don't want to say three, and then you know people say, "Yo, it's not free." Got your this way, fill up the screen wash there. And then yeah, if something comes up if I remember, then yeah, I'll let you guys know, really. Very nice juicy car. And so yeah, please like, subscribe, share. Let me know if you've got any comments. Uh, check out my other videos. I went from a free series to this TTRS. Fun car if you got enough money to maintain it, <laughs> enough money for the petrol. But you'd keep, if you were like this car, you'd just drive it at the weekend spot, well, like for fun. Yeah. Like, rev it, rev it.